Hi there, Kevin Tharp here. We're uh, continuing on with our Google Analytics reports for beginners series. We're looking at the, the behavior reports, and this week we're or this week we are specifically looking at under the behavior tab. We're looking at the site content. So this is bringing us to the point where we're actually looking at the the things that people are looking at. So we start with the all pages report. And that's going to do exactly what you expect it to do. It's going to start with, and, and you can choose whatever metric you want to look here. I'm going to start with page views. That's kind of the default. Uh, and, and so we go forward with that. You can, um, you can add metrics along this so that you can see more than one thing side by side. So if I wanted to look at bounce rate. Um, and next to page views and that's what this graph is going to show me now this is an interesting thing because the bounce rate is very different in its pattern than the um, the page views and that's because of the different audiences that uses this and we'll take a look at that in a little while I'm gonna go ahead and take that off for now so continuing on here uh, within the Explorer the other thing that we can do is we can add segments we've got all of our users here we can add segments here of uh, for instance we can choose new users and uh, what that allows us to do after we apply that is it's going to let you see the difference in traffic and I was talking about there's different kinds of users here we've got internal audiences that uh, are using this website students faculty uh, employees of the university but we've also got the new users here this is more likely to be people that are interested in uh, becoming involved with the organization, whether as it's a student or in some way beginning to participate in the um, in what the university does, and that can be a really broad range of things. But what that shows you is that there are very different traffic patterns between them because of the uh, the normal usage patterns of what's going on. So what you're looking at is each of these lows points is a Saturday. And that's because of our normal pattern. So what you're seeing is a month here, and it's broken up into normal patterns of weeks. Uh, I talked about in a previous video, this one is out of normal. That's because that was when our spring break was this year. And this one is out of normal because uh, this date is higher than the other ones would be, where you see a, a lower slope. That's because that's the... Um, the cur curriculum that's when the students meet with their curriculum advisors and start planning for next year so that day got more traffic than the normal pattern but those are the kinds of things that you can start to see so what you're seeing on this page is page views of all users versus page views of new users and so that shows you sort of a normal flow so if I was to add um, and I did that by adding a segment uh, and so I could see those. If I went back and I wanted to add uh, the bounce rate, then what you'd see is, and it starts getting really complicated, so you need to sort of understand what you're looking at. We've got all users where the page views are represented by this dark blue line, and the bounce rate of all users is represented by this lighter blue line. Okay, so then you've got the new users where the page views are represented by this orange line and the bounce rate is represented by this sort of lighter orange line. So uh, let me go ahead and take off the segment and, and show you why that's important and what it allows us to see here. Um, again, we were at the beginning, I was talking about how the, the pattern between the page views and the bounce rate are very different. And when you understand the users who are here, then you understand that if we're looking at um, users who are regularly using the site, that's what's throwing it out of line. That's why we add this segment for new users. And in fact, we could even take off the all users just to get a clearer picture of how this works. And so then what we see is that the... Um, the new users and the bounce rate are closer in parallel, um, but if we add back again that segment where we've got uh, all users and we apply that, then we can see that the 
the patterns are much more closely, and, and, and the colors have changed here because of the order that I have these in. I can just drag that over there and, and change the order again, and that changes my colors back. So the, the page views about all users are very different than the page views and the bounce rate of um, new users. So the new users are uh, basically establishing the pattern uh, for the bounce rate for the site. So uh, it's important to understand uh, that when you're looking at the analytics and really anytime you're going through any of these reports, that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to understand, get some insight into what those numbers mean. So within the all pages, you can see uh, the different pages. So um, in previous videos, you saw where our logins page and our learn page uh, get the most traffic uh, and our um, home pages in the, in that mix too. So then you can start digging in and seeing um, the differences in statistics. So let's go to the logins page. Uh, the logins page doesn't get very much new user traffic. 6.5%, uh, 5-6% of unique page views um, coming from new users and um, 19.7% coming from all users. Uh, so we have all users are, are contributing a lot more to this logins page. Uh, when we switch that to um, the index page, the home page, you'll see that uh, those numbers come closer together. Uh, and that's because uh, that home page is used both by our internal audiences and more often by external audiences too. So what it does is it starts giving you the ability to see additional information. So I come up here to uh, bounce rate. And bounce rate is a, an interesting, but you really have to understand what you're doing uh, when you're looking at it statistics. For instance, if you're doing a blog, a bounce rate of a high bounce rate is not that problematic. Uh, if you're trying to sell something uh, and they're bouncing on the first page before going to uh, your shopping cart or, or completing, that's a different story. So you need to look at this uh, bounce rate and understand uh, what is the nature of the people that are using it. But what this allows us to do, again, we're looking at the behavior uh, site content chart. And for instance, at this index.cfm, uh, we'll see that the bounce rate is for all users is only 18.2%, but for new users, it's 21.68. So that sort of flip-flops there, and that honestly is what you would expect. Now coming over to the, this is the programs, the undergraduate programs uh, that we're looking at here. And so um, we're trying to see, you know, come in here, and what we're going to see is uh, how much of this are new users, people who've come to the site for the first time, they're going and looking at our programs. Um, this is gonna be an important number for us because that's where uh, people are coming into our site and looking at our undergraduate majors uh, to see what they're going on. So it, it gives you an idea of the different traffic patterns uh, where it's going on. So that's the all pages and there's a, a lot of information to be found there. Now the next one is a content drill down. This is another one of those reports that I I like to play with um, because it allows me to uh, get a, a, another look going deeper in beyond these statistics. So I was talking about our programs. That's where our uh, people are looking at what kind of degrees we have. So if we do it, the content drill down, we go into programs. I'm going to take some of this data out. Um, just I'm going to um, get rid of some of these just to sort of clean up the amount of information that's on the screen. Uh, but I've come into the um, a level two path, and uh, that is the programs page. And so there's a, a series of different um, pages that uh, were accessible through that. And so uh, let's see what kind of sort, uh, just a default sort there. So this is showing our um, the amount of traffic that we have. So... Um, there's our traffic, there's what percentage of it goes to undergraduate, to our minors, uh, and to the different uh, areas that are subcategories to that. So if I click on it again, it's gonna let me drill down another time. And uh, then we're looking at just the data from the program's undergraduate. Then we can start uh, adding segments 
uh, let's look at um, new users and uh, let's just keep it simple for now let's leave it there you can come in and play with these all yourself so that you can start understanding uh, and really that's the only way to start understanding these is by spending time doing it so what we find is with new users the bounce rate is 44.25 percent with all users the bounce rate is 37.19 so you need to again you need to understand what your organization is doing uh, and um, how it's what does this data mean because ultimately that's what you want to do is you want to get insight into how people are using uh, your site now one of the things that's interesting is that um, our pattern this sort of has a, a weekly pattern um, amongst page views for new users too that pattern didn't drastically change during our spring break week so that's an interesting little statistic uh, that we're able to look at that and see oh, okay so the new users probably are not uh, representing our students but people who are coming in to look at the site so the next thing that we can look at is the landing pages and what you're probably starting to recognize is that um, there's some similarities between some of the uh, reports that we've looked at in the previous recordings and this and that's that our index our logins and our learn are always at the top of our um, statistics whichever way so uh, you're able to see uh, different kinds of statistics by choosing what elements you're going to look at uh, within here and there's a lot to go into but because this is a beginner series uh, we're going to keep it with just the basics uh, the other thing that it shows us is uh, exit pages landing pages is where they come into the site exit pages are where they leave the site and again uh, the home page the logins page um, or the learn home page the logins page and the home page are the the top exit pages and that's just because that's the the vast majority of our uh, traffic um, is going there and um, utilizing those reports in that way so that's where we're going to leave it at this point I do want to touch on some of these others but uh, until you get a little bit more familiar uh, these become less important you've got site speed which talks about how fast it is that individual pages load um, site search if you've got your site search uh, statistics set up it will let you to see how people are using your on-site search so uh, when you go to a website and it's got the little search on there if you've got that site up set up there uh, you can see that you can add events etc uh, etc et and then conversions are reports that uh, will allow you to see how many people have uh, converted so the end of that funnel uh, but in order to do the conversions you've got to have a properly set up goals so uh, there's the behavior flows that this culminates the series on the um, reports for beginners and I hope that you have found this helpful talk to you later bye bye